The rising sun brings with it light to dampen the darkness. So does it signify the hopes and aspirations of a people bound together by a common interest. Anambra West Local Government Area The food basket of Anambra State is surrounded by different rivers, but its people, the Igbo-speaking and Igala-speaking people, are thirsty, even though there is water everywhere. Despite frequent allocations from the federal government, a number of West local governments still groans under the weight of underdevelopment. The allocations here, if spent on this local government, supposed to be enough to develop the local government. But the fact remains that since long now, since 2002, when uh, the state government took the complete autonomy of this local government. What I mean is that state government controls the, the allocations coming into this local government or other local governments in the state. Local government does not have enough to develop this, the, the area. However, we have what, what we call joint account here. Joint account is that the accounts coming from the federal allocation ends up at the state government and the governor has total control of the of the account the money so the chairman here since he is not duly elected is by appointment it's like a commissioner the governor controls his activities the state of the local government secretariat at Enzam, the anambra west local government headquarters is a mirror of how all the communities in the area look like. More than two decades gone by, Anambra West local government has nothing to boast of, save for its rich culture, farmlands, produce and tenacious breed of persons who, against all odds, are coping with the little they can get from the state government and well winning Nigerians. We set out to other communities to find out how they have been coping. This river is the only link to many communities. It is also the source of livelihood for some others. We have arrived at Odomago community. Blessed with arable land and fertile soil for farming. I got my gum choloku no melani bo mili oku egaja lolo. What we, Odomago people, want government to do for us is to provide us with boreholes and electricity. We need loans for farmers. We don't have modern farming equipment. With loans, we'll be able to enlarge our farms. 
we also need good roads. So uh, I need robot mill. They can spin boat. We also need injured boats, speed boats and jetties. These will ease transportation of people and goods in and out of our communities and farms. We don't have hospitals or any health center. The community is struggling to keep up with the modern times. The primary health center in the community is now a shadow of itself. The structure stands out. The paints on the wall are gradually fading off. Even as stone posters deface the walls, nothing is indeed working. While this particular room looks neat, one cannot say the same for other rooms in the health center. Files and other people work are scattered on shelves and they look like they haven't been touched in a long time. Apart from the structure, there is indeed no health center here. Forcing people who really need care to go to the city and in some instances, neighboring states. Bed frames and other equipment are wasting away as they have become the landing place for dust and dirt. The mattresses have seen better days as they continue to waste away. Right inside the place meant to be the Premier Earth Centre is this fishing net. It looks like a workspace for mending and making nets for fishing. From 2014-2015, it was for sure a bed. From 2016-17-18 up to 2020, we could not get a staff again. Workers here, they do once a while. Not once a week? Not once a week, once a while, once in a month, even a year itself, we could not see any staff. So that is why we have a problem, even children that year. It's only during the immunization time, you see them, they come a week or three days, they just go. After that immunization, then everything ends like that. What mostly disturbs uh, development here is uh, road. We don't have uh, entries in the local government, most especially Olumanasa Ward 2, which is uh, covered by the water. That's the major problem we are having. Secondly, in terms of uh, health fatalities, we are downward and very, very poor. Look at our health center. Even the staff quarters there is dying off. Here now, we don't have any staff in the, in the health center now. At least we have uh, three days or four days ago, we have uh, a woman died in labor due to lack of uh, health uh, fatalities. He died. So that is a very big problem to us. So we need the uh, government aid to come in, most especially the government of Anambra State. We are in problem. We are in soup, very deep in problems, which is to us, I saw to my community. Plagued by the lack of access roads, many parts of the community face the risk of erosion. Odubago community lacks access to portable water. Boreholes are erected in the community, but water does not flow out of the spoiled taps. Some of the hand pump Boreholes located in the town have gone bad. One will be tempted to think that this is a cluster of trees, but indeed a borehole sits here. Not in the no post small, not in the since then, not in the don't do anything. Abandoned. See all the pipes. I mean, we have to use to bring the water out. Nothing. No small, no nothing. Surrounded by water, these communities really have no portable water to drink, leaving them susceptible to waterborne diseases. Oday is another community in Anambra West local government area. The people here are taking each day as it comes, hoping for a better tomorrow. 
just like other communities in the area, electricity is non-existent. The government didn't take care of us. We are Nambra West. We are people who live in a local place. They say people are saying people they say they are looking local local area. We are people who live in local area. Flood everywhere. Small time a flood will start. We don't have water here. All this, all this, this one we, you know. Still at this piece, because you could brought this one. This hand pumping. The no, we don't have root. We don't have we need a more uh, health center to be there. Nothing. Locals tell us that this bridge present in the community almost cost millions of naira. Just as rusty as its signpost looks, is this hand pump ball who has now lost its relevance to the community. This is another bridge in the community which residents tell us was allegedly constructed with 10 million naira. Through dusty, narrow and bushy parts, we went to another community in Norma Akato. The dusty roofs tell the story of a people who have over the years been neglected. Hundreds of indigents live under these roofs, but they are not happy with the situation of things. For them, life in Enoma is equal to pain, but giving up is not an option. Miles away from the state capital, youths in Enorma state a peaceful protest to draw the attention of the government to their plight. Even though they know their voices may not get to the state authorities, it's still a shot they're willing to take. Women who also share in the same problems join the marching throng to the village square. Today, I'm not happy at all. Why? Because past three years ago, our people, a lot of people here, a major, we have a stockholders, our people are sovereign. I can take 1,000 naira from Unewi to Nzam. But from Unzam to Inoma can take me 2,000 naira. If you go down to that our hospital, you can see that nothing is going on there. The project that have government have brought there is abandoned yes. since when? Since more than six years. Yes. But now, our people are dying. We we take, our people are dying. Our people are dying. No stakeholders, nobody we are, we are talking about here. Reverend Father Charles Ebele, 
Because of may the roads rest in peace. Because of no good road. That is why we use fiber. Through that fiber, the father died. The government has no say anything. At all. At all today. Government of Anambara State have no say anything to off to today. Last two years, yes. my people, people where die for this community, they are more than 50 yes. for the cholera. The water, where the government of Anambara say, make could, could they drink? Because of say, our people have dying. After that day, where the job plus that thing to there, the water is not function to see today. Nobody. The same place where our people they sit, that the same place neither they drink. In fact, in Nigeria now, this community is producing the best rice. But where is the road to take this thing outside? To transport it outside? We don't have. Look at our yam. We have the biggest yam in this in this in this Nigeria. But we don't have road. We don't have road. At the end of the year, we remain as we are. Now, we don't have hospital. We don't have hospital. And out there, they are helping them with, with, with loan. But here, government are not supporting us. They are not supporting us. And we need help from, from them. Government should help us. From this community, you can use bike to get to Abuja very easy. But now, before you can get to Abuja now, you will go there as in, uh, the journey that will not will take you less than one hour. But three that because we don't have food, it's about 10 hours. Even with the evident electricity poles and wires, Norma remains in darkness. It is a problem that has got the young and old talking. Water installations are everywhere, but they are empty and abandoned. A better looking one stands at another place in the community, but it has been rendered dormant. The small structure built around the borehole area that houses the pump now serves as a shelter for goats, chickens and other stray animals. While we can notice trails of water on the water treatment plant, the barbed wires used for keeping people and animals from straying into the area are falling. It has been stored since 2015, where cholera in vain in Inoma. Yes. And that, during that cholera period, then cholera killed almost 57 people in this community. Yes. Yes. You can see small students are dying yes. like a rat. Yes. Then the, the governor of Anambra said, I'm uh, going will you be or he command uh, the, the, the commissioner for utility on, on, on March 15 to come and install this uh, 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 borehole. Up to now, the, the, this borehole has not worked for, for five minutes. You can see it. The whole of, of high tank here have collapsed. It, it's this place now. Let us know that the high tank will collapse under uh, uh, one year. You have seen it now. We fetch from the river. Every year we will learn of cholera. Look at the abandoned project in, in this normal. Good we need good water. We need, good water. We need road. We need, need the workable and facility nice. hospital yeah. in this community. So I can you help our people. Now, what do the people of Noma drink? Far from portable is this brownish liquid filled with dirt. This is their reality, and so many of the locals have paid the ultimate price, death, for quenching their thirst with this. The sign posted a testimony that a solar street light project was embarked on in Norma, but locals tell us that they rarely work. Electricity poles as tall as their dreams, dashed and buried like the transformer, expected to light up the community. With the presence of many installations like this one, buried in the weeds, almost forming a tree with many branches, electricity is far from Norma. The cables are heavily burdened even as they have become a home for rodents and serpents. This is a situation that has left many businesses, especially the small scale ones, struggling to survive. Welcome to Udama Community Secondary School. No gates or perimeter fencing. All you have is these pillars bearing the name of the school, scarred by stagnant water.
But the school is short of teachers. Even core members posted to the community tried to evade the discomfort that awaits them. These men are some of the brave-hearted core members enduring the absence of basic amenities. That's the water provided for them to drink, at least. It's not as bad as the water in the river, even though the villagers find it drinkable and it is quite a distance from the community. These core members remain in these conditions because of the love they have for their fatherland. This structure houses the core members, its wooden windows almost falling. A pile of corrugated sheets provide a covering when they need to use the toilet or shower. We're very lucky to be first to this very PPA, understand? So, but we have some challenges here. One is accessibility to the town, um, no electricity, understand? So we we'll find it very difficult to, every morning we we'll move to the Igwe's Palace to charge our phone, then we'll come back again, understand? So when it comes to teaching aspects, most of the workload falls under the auspices of the core members. We don't have, to us, we don't have a good water here. But they say that the one that we have is enough and is okay. And the villagers, they do drink from it. But we prefer water. And buying of water here, a bag, 250. Such a water, a bag, 250. And you see that, as a core member posted to this very place, in terms of spending, we spend more. And we need the government to help us and help this very community. Textbooks. I don't think any of the students have understand and most of the textbooks here are outdated. The community ed is saddened by the community's perceived invisibility to the government. I'm pleading with the government to stop the neglect of my people and my area. We are the terminal point between Anambra State and the North. From my community here to Kogi is less than four kilometers. I am pleading with the government to stop this neglect of my people. What is good for the goose is good for the gander. Since I ascended the throne, I have come to understand that the greatest challenge of my people are access roads. We need a road to link with our people living in the upland. We seem to have been separated from our brothers on the upland by water. Within and around us, there is no town or community upland that can be compared with us, yet see the way we are. Once we have a good road network, here will be a second Dubai or Malaysia. I was in Onitsha when it was all about bush, but today you can now see how this Onitsha is developed. We are crying and pleading with the government to remember us. Since the state started a road from Umu Eze and Nam Nzam, they stopped at Miata and Nam. We don't know how and where we have wronged the government, and even if we have wronged them, we are asking for their forgiveness. Government should please forgive our wrongs and remember us, so that we can be like others. This is our plea to the government, to please remember us.